Are you tired of the same old talk about battery electric vehicles dominating the green revolution? Well, prepare to be amazed by Hyundai's groundbreaking innovation that could change the game entirely. Introducing their latest marvel, an internal combustion engine powered by hydrogen. Get ready for a paradigm shift in the EV industry. This cutting-edge engine promises exceptional performance, unparalleled efficiency, and a significant reduction in harmful emissions, amplifying the fight against climate change. Join us as we delve into the revolutionary features of this hydrogen-powered engine and explore its impact on the future of electric vehicles. But before we get started, if you want to help our channel grow and keep bringing you even more exciting content, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll really appreciate it. Now let's dive in. Picture yourself behind the wheel, basking in the exhilaration of a powerful engine while knowing that you're driving towards a greener future. Hyundai, one of the automotive giants, has answered the call with its latest engineering marvel. The timing couldn't be more perfect as the world embarks on a sustainable revolution and electric vehicles take center stage. Get ready to experience the best of both worlds with Hyundai's groundbreaking engine, combining the thrill of traditional combustion power with a conscientious commitment to the environment. At a press conference held at the company's headquarters, the CEO of Hyundai unveiled a groundbreaking new internal combustion engine, which poses a challenge to the dominance of electric autos. This innovative engine, also known as the Atomic Ignition Powertrain, or AIP, uses cutting-edge technology that combines conventional combustion methods while burning hydrogen fuel. The CEO claims that the product offers several advantages over electric vehicles, including a higher driving range, quicker refueling periods, and lower prices overall. Hyundai is establishing itself as a front-runner in the field of hydrogen fuel technology, and the company has announced plans to integrate this technology into a wide range of cars, including sedans, SUVs, and commercial vehicles. The company has positioned itself to capitalize on the growing importance of hydrogen as a factor in the fight to reduce the carbon footprint of the transportation sector. They're working on developing a comprehensive ecosystem for the generation of hydrogen fuel, storage of hydrogen fuel, and transportation of hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen combustion engines have a lot of untapped potential, and Hyundai is working to make them easier to use and more economical for the average person. In addition to its use in transportation, the hydrogen combustion engine has various other potential applications. It can be used in power production, ships, and even airplanes. The opportunities are virtually limitless. And you know what's even more awesome than that? It's anticipated that other automobile manufacturers will follow Hyundai's lead and begin investing in this technology thanks to Hyundai's investment. This will result in increased competition and innovation in the market, both of which will work to our advantage as consumers in the long run. As you may already be aware, conventional fossil fuels are one of the primary causes of environmental degradation and climate change. But with hydrogen fuel becoming more widely available and at a more reasonable price, we might be on the verge of witnessing a paradigm shift. Not only would it assist in lowering emissions, but it would also lessen our reliance on oil imported from other countries. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at why this technology has not been explored before, even though hydrogen has been around since the beginning of time. When using hydrogen to power a vehicle, the energy must first be transferred from the wires to the gas and then back to the wires again. This makes hydrogen an inefficient fuel source. This phenomenon is referred to as the energy sector transition. Let's say a wind turbine generates 100 watts of clean, renewable electricity. That energy is then used on water to split hydrogen to power a hydrogen combustion engine, and one way to do that is through the electrolysis process. This energy efficiency is approximately 75%, meaning approximately 25% of the electricity will be wasted automatically. Compressing, chilling, and transporting the created hydrogen to the hydrogen station is a process that has an efficiency level of approximately 90%. Then, once the hydrogen is inside the car, it must be transformed into energy, a process that is only 60% efficient. When everything is added up, we only consume 38% of the original electricity, or 38 watts out of 100. When it comes to electric automobiles, the energy travels along wires the entire distance from its source to the vehicle itself. During its travel through the grid, the same 100 watts of power generated by the same turbine loses around 5% of its efficiency. The charging and discharging of the lithium-ion battery results in an additional 10% loss of energy, and using electricity to propel the vehicle results in an additional 5% loss of energy. You're then left with 80 watts, which is quite efficient. In other words, the hydrogen combustion engine demands double the amount of energy as the conventional fuel cell. Putting gasoline into a tank is a simple and speedy process, just like connecting the cable to an electric vehicle's charging port to charge the battery. On the other hand, hydrogen is a challenging gas to work with because it has a low volumetric energy density. 
As a result, it needs to be highly compressed at high pressures, between 350 and 700 bar, to be packed into a tank to power a vehicle. It takes around 5 or 6 kilograms of hydrogen to travel approximately 600 kilometers. However, if the hydrogen in the tank of an automobile were not compressed, there would be just enough for a trip that is 5 kilometers long. Another challenge involves transportation, or more specifically, figuring out how to get hydrogen to refueling stations to supply to vehicles. The first issue in this scenario is that specific pipelines are required for it to be delivered. This is because pipelines designed for methane and natural gas are not totally compatible with one another. However, this issue can be circumvented by using natural gas hydrogen mixtures with low hydrogen components. The alternative would be to transport it in a liquid state, similar to how oil derivatives are transported. However, the temperature required to turn hydrogen into a liquid is negative 253 degrees centigrade, and it requires a significant amount of energy to convert it and then maintain it in that state. At the present time, and in the vast majority of instances involving industrial use, hydrogen is produced in the same place that it is used. There are a few hydrogen pipelines, but each one is only a few thousand kilometers long and scattered throughout the globe. Creating a complete network of hydrogen distributors for car transportation can incur significant expenses and take time. Germany is in the lead position for distribution with approximately 100 stations, which is continually growing, making it possible to travel anywhere inside the country. Hydrogen is produced locally, which enables the country's taxi network to function effectively. The country aims to have 50% of its taxi fleet powered by hydrogen. All fuels have safety issues. However, hydrogen fuel has a few drawbacks, some of which could be expensive to address. To begin, flames composed of hydrogen do not burn in the visible spectrum. To put it in another way, the naked eye cannot detect the presence of a hydrogen flame. Special flame detectors are necessary. This also presents a one-of-a-kind threat to the safety of emergency response teams. Compared to other fuels, hydrogen may be ignited at lower temperatures and concentrations before burning. Even a seemingly minor leak has the potential to become hazardous. This risk is significantly increased because hydrogen molecules are relatively small, which indicates that leaks will occur frequently. The low hydrogen density would worsen the situation since any hydrogen that leaked into the air would swiftly spread. In spite of this, mitigating the problem would require specialized sensors to detect any leaks and more strict ventilation regulations for the infrastructure that handles distribution and storage. Now Hyundai's new engine provides a solution to all these problems. According to Hyundai, the new engine provides a range comparable to that of conventional gasoline-powered vehicles, effectively removing the efficiency and limitation that were once a problem with hydrogen fuel. In addition, the time required to refill electric vehicles is a significant drawback because it takes charging stations a considerable amount of time to replenish the batteries completely. This problem is going to be solved by the new engine, which will provide refueling times that are comparable to those of conventional automobiles. Users who are accustomed to the speed and effectiveness of refueling traditional cars may find this new powertrain to be particularly appealing. Another significant challenge that Hyundai believes the new engine can overcome is expense. Even though the price of electric vehicles has decreased over the years, they are still more expensive than their gas-powered equivalents. Customers might have access to a cheaper mode of transportation due to the development of the new engine, which uses the existing infrastructure and does not require the expensive manufacturing processes that are typically connected with EVs. The introduction of the new hydrogen engine by the CEO of Hyundai raises significant worries regarding the future of the automotive industry, which has been quickly migrating towards the use of electric powertrains. Even though electric vehicles have gained significant popularity and widespread support from customers and governments, this trend may be derailed by developing a viable alternative in the form of the hydrogen-powered engine. Hyundai's new engine may pose a significant challenge to the market share of electric vehicles, particularly in regions where the infrastructure for charging electric vehicles is in its infancy. If the new hydrogen-powered engine is developed successfully and used by many people, it can potentially restrict the growth of electric vehicles. The true relevance and impact of the new engine developed by Hyundai may only be recognized over time, just like any other outstanding technological achievement. It will be contingent on many things such as client acceptability, infrastructure development, and regulatory authorities' backing. It's important to note that the automobile industry has achieved significant improvements in the technology behind electric cars. Many manufacturers also have a significant financial investment in the trend towards electrification. Consequently, established producers of electric vehicles will likely try to limit the growth of the new engine. It's essential to recognize that the automotive industry is a multi-tiered ecosystem with numerous actors, including customers, manufacturers, suppliers, and infrastructure providers. 
Every significant transformation in either the technological status quo or the paradigm itself requires buy-in and cooperation from all parties concerned. So the success of the new engine will not only be determined by the efforts put forth by Hyundai, but also by the support and cooperation of other industry partners. The automotive industry is currently at a crossroads, and the conflict between various technologies and the implications those technologies have for the environment is ongoing. Hyundai will shake up the future of transportation, but only time will tell how the debut of its new engines will affect the trend of electric vehicles and the larger transition towards more environmentally friendly mobility. That's all from this video. What do you think of this new engine? We do value your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. We appreciate your support and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, take care.